Hi everyone, I'm Kartika Chinaya. I take your All India Rank 1 in EDUG 2021 and I'm currently pursuing MBBS from AIMS New Delhi. So today I'm here to talk about self-motivation and discipline drive for NEED examination. So NEED exam, when we talk about NEED and other competitive exams at the same level of NEED, I think NEED relatively requires more hard work as compared to intelligence. That is what I have always believed and that is what I've always done. So how to keep working hard without losing motivation is what I'll talk about now. Because this journey is long. Like for, in my case, it was almost two years and uh, it was supposed to be two years and the exam was extended. So it almost ended up being two and a half years, which isn't difficult. You know, to have the same fire and the same motivation for two and a half years is not at all an easy job. But ultimately, your score very much depends on that. And I can prove it to you, right? Because I was able to maintain that motivation and drive for around two and a half years, I was able to do very well in the examination. And so can you. Like what you must have, you must be motivated. Like if you lose motivation, it's all of no use, right? So let's see what can we do for it. So, so mostly students start preparing for need from class 11th. And until uh, class 12th board examinations, they have two years. Usually it's two years, but many people start preparing even before that. So in my case, it was two years. So from 10 to 11th is a pretty drastic change. Like when you jump from 10th standard to 11th standard, 10th may everything was spoon fed to you. It was just simple text. You were given a particular set of questions board exam and you, you were able to score pretty well marks. Right. And at Chanak, you come to 11th standard where everything just gets changed. The, in the, the books get changed, the subjects get changed, your approach gets changed. It's very difficult to get used to it. So when I first came to 11th and I started preparing for NEET, I realized that it is not at all like board examinations. It is pretty difficult. Okay. It is pretty difficult to score in it. So I faced a lot of problem in this particular phase of from jumping to 10 to 11th. And I almost used up my entire 11th standard in trying to adjust to that shift okay so my scores were very less in the start of 11th but my teachers used to tell me that this is just the beginning so what i used 11th was for it was a trial year for me i tried different different strategies i tried different different books and finally i realized by the end of 11th i was able to tell ki mere liye kaun si strategy zyada achhi hai matlab main physics ke kaun se aspect mein weak hu is it calculation is it concept or whatever so by the end of 11th standard i was able to understand ki where i lack and what i need to do for the next year okay so 11th mein practically my scores always remained low because i was always doing this trial ki yaar is topic ko aise padte scores nahi aaye then we'll try some other method and the same went on so in all the tests in class 11 i used to do all sort of different strategies you know to pata taki main ko pata lage ki kaun si strategy mere liye work karti hai and kaun si zyada easy hai right so i did the same you know uh, trial and error strategy in class 11 my scores always remained low and I did not have much expectations from myself. But yeah, I used to feel a little bit down sometimes because uh, class 11, mein I I was more focused on, you know, ye jo, ye trial experiments while around it, instead of actually going for the concept and stuff. So in 11, mein I used to lag a lot. And because of that, I was not confident when I came to 12. So I was lose confident lose kiya when I, uh, like 11 khatam hoti because my scores were just average and sometimes low. So I had no confidence in myself when I came to 12th. The turning point occurred in 12th. When I started 12th and I wrote the first examination of 12th, I did really well in that. Okay, so that was when it turned for me. So once I did really well in that, I understood ki mujhe padna kya hai. So karna kya hai ki you must real, uh, clear your concepts. Whatever subject it is, whether it is physics, chemistry or biology. Once your concept is clear, no matter how difficult or how easy the question is, you will be able to do it. Right? Ultimately, questions are just a twisted form of the concept. If you know the concept very well, question ko tum kitna bhi mod lo, you will be able to understand and solve it. So, concepts, go behind the concepts, not behind the questions. That is what I learned throughout 11th standard and that is what I applied when I came to 12th standard. Also, I started working hard. I increased my study time. I cut off myself from all other activities. Not entirely. But yeah. But I used to devote most of my time to studies. 
and also i had locked down during my preparation for some people it came out to be a doom because suddenly shift to online classes and stuff it was pretty difficult for me as well but i used it to my own advantage i had a lot of time because i didn't have to go to school didn't have to go to coaching i would i would just log in from my room for the class okay so that saved a lot really lot of my time so i used all of that time into hard work i did not waste any time in class 12 because i wanted to make up for what i lost in class 11th also so i tried to make sure that i worked very hard in class 12 i did many questions i solved many 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 questions ओके एंड दैट मेड इट ईजियर टू अंडरस्टैंड कि मेरी कौन सी टॉपिक्स वीक है मेरे लिए एंड कौन सी ईजी है ओके एंड आई ट्राई टू कवर वॉट एवर वॉज बींग टॉट इन द क्लास द वेरी सेम डे इट सेल्फ और मे बी द नेक्स्ट डे आई डिड नॉट कीप इट पेंडिंग दैट इज वन मिस्टेक आई मेड इन लेवन जिसकी वजह से मेरे स्कोर्स कम आते थे बट बाई बाई ट्वेल्थ वो मैंने सुधार लिया ओके एंड I wrote a lot of tests. My scores improved, but again there were downfalls. When you rise up, downfalls will be there. So what happens? What what to do when you have a downfall? Downfall hoga, so you need to understand why that happened. The why question is very important. Why? My scores come? Why are they? I mean, why not? I can't do it. You must question yourself. But that doesn't mean you go down and yar mutse nahi ho raha, chhod do. I'm not able to do it. Ye nahi hota. So if you go down, take a break. If you if your scores go down, take a break, relax. okay and try to understand ki where did the mistake happen and when you try to understand where the mistake happened i can guarantee you that you won't do it uh, again in the examination so tests are a way to understand ki where did the mistake happen so once you understand that you need to keep yourself motivated and say that i won't do that mistake again in neat examination so you should be happy whenever you make a mistake in test ki like yes I made this mistake. Now I know that it should not happen in the NEET examination. That is what I told myself. That's what my parents told myself, and that's what kept me motivated. So my exam was in 2021, okay, and my syllabus was completed in 2020 itself, 2020 December. So I had like around eight nine months for revision, and by the time it was May, I was getting really bored of revising the same stuff again and again, and I was beginning to lose interest in the concepts. But if you do that. it's gone so i told myself that ultimately my goal is to score very well in the examination doesn't matter whenever the exam is held i must keep up my motivation until then you must keep up the fire until then otherwise you lose it all no matter how much hard you prepare if you do not like keep up the same motivation you had initially until the end there is no point okay so i believe that the um, uh, the uh, scores that you score in the examination will depend upon how determined you are till the end that's what i believe how hard you work till the end aisa nahi hai ki like maine 3 mahina padhai kar liya mujhe aata hai to chhod diya exam extend ho gaya to leave it no you must keep working until the very last day that is how you score in the examination and for a discipline drive for a discipline study i never had a time table or you know a schedule in class 11th i was just study whenever i felt like it But in twelfth, I tried to make it a little bit more disciplined. I still did not have a timetable for twelfth, but I tried to make it a little more, uh, you know, uh, effective. So what did I do in class twelfth? I fixed the number of hours I should work in a day. So initially, I fixed it at ten. Then I increased it to twelve. Then to thirteen before the exam. So it's like, what does this time include? So ten hours would include all the classes, all doubt classes, all tests. everything like everything related to study my self study and whatever so for example in on a particular day if i have a lot of classes i would limit my self study accordingly if i do not have classes for example i would devote all of those 10 hours to self study that is what i did i never decided ki mujhe ye padhna hai ya wo padhna hai but i had this rough idea and went mujhe itne ghante padhne so this is what i did and before the examination like around 3 months before the examination i divided my 12 hours into four parts each for effective revision so this was for physics this was for chemistry this was for biology and this was for a test so this helped me to you know keep track ki me sare subjects revise kar pa rahi hu and sare topics bhi revise kar rahi hu another thing i had done for discipline is that ek fixed wake up time ek fixed you know uh, sleeping ka time doesn't matter whenever it is for example i used to sleep at 4 am and wake up at 11 am doesn't matter like you can study whenever you want to day night it totally depends on you totally depends on your effectiveness like i was never able to study during the days i could study only at nights and my parents supported me for that they had full support for my weird schedule right so 
I used to follow my schedule and I strictly followed my schedule for uh, you know uh, once my board exams were done like after 12 standard I had around 3-4 months and I had the schedule fixed in mind I had a fixed uh, time for having food and everything I divided allocated my time properly and that helped me have a disciplined life and when your life is disciplined it's easier to understand ki kaha flaws ho and kaha mistakes ho rahe, right and then I made a lot of charts papers tracks spreadsheets everything was tracked very well so I tried discipline banane ki koshish ki thi in class 12th mein. Okay, and I used to note down each and every marks of the score and all the errors in one notebook. So, how more disciplined you are, the more easier it gets for you when you know you have a lot of chapters coming for the exam. So, I had taken a total tally 97 chapters are going to come for your exam 11th and 12th combined, or physics, chemistry, biology combined. 97 chapters is not a small deal, you cannot revise it in one week or two weeks, right? So, you need to be very disciplined from the start to be able to cover each and every topic of those 97 because all 97 chapters are important. Some may be more important than the others, but it's not like you can skip even one of those 97 chapters. So, a disciplined and, you know, a uh, uh, divided life, a disciplined life is very important for preparation, right? So, maintain discipline and motivation. Keep yourself motivated. Motivation isn't something someone else can give you. You have to have it yourself. Some things you must do. Some things you cannot do, like learning or solving doubts. That isn't something you can do. That You need teachers, you need mentors for that. But keeping yourself motivated is something that only you can do. Ultimately, the feeling that how much I karna hai will come only from you. It won't be it won't be coming from someone else. No ma no matter how much ever someone told you ki yar kar lo, pad lo, no matter. You won't study unless you feel like doing so. So motivation is something that comes from within. So try to keep yourself motivated. It is very difficult, of course, to you know have the same level of fire and motivation for two years. But understand the grass is greener on the other side. Once you ace the exam, it is so well. Life is amazing at MBBS colleges. And the effort of two years that you put in was totally worth it. I can certify that. So never restrain yourself from working hard. Work hard, have a disciplined life, and stay motivated. That's all from my side. Thank you.